Kevin. Tony. Did we have to come halfway across the world in order to see each other? I mean, Wisconsin, Florida, and we're in Tokyo, Japan right I, now. I know, and I think the last time we saw each other was maybe Arizona. It was uh, Arizona. three weeks ago. So, yeah, just, you know, just wanted to have a challenge in case of jet lag to, uh, to come back home with. Isn't that fun? We, we challenge ourselves with jet lag so that we can hang out in Tokyo to talk about Yazda. Who doesn't love a good challenge? Hey, absolutely. And what better place to talk about Yazda than Japan? So here we are. The birthplace, the accumulation of all of the success expanding around the world. And they're going to give us a factory tour as well. How amazing is that? It's going to be incredible. I, I got a chance to see the Yazda factory in June. Now you're going to get a chance to see it, Tony. And, and uh, it is a one of a kind in the world. Probably the, the original you know, manufacturing strategy when it comes to building quality, highly, highly accurate machine tools. And we're going to get a chance to see behind the doors. Very excited to see that. And we will see that soon. But today we're standing on the booth here beyond the future with Yazda. Now, if I look to my right, Kevin, now currently to your left, but to your <laughs> right just a second ago, it looks like we have an Aroa automation robotic cell. And I think there's a three axis on the right hand side and a five axis on the left hand side. Would you like to explain a little bit about that for the audience? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Yazda has a variety of different machines designed for the mold and die market. The YBM 640V, which is on the on that side, <laughs> um, is a boxway machine, uh, kind of Yazda's original technology when it comes to die and mold machining. Boxways, uh, big plus 40 taper spindle, 24,000 RPM, uh, three axis, and not every mold or die needs to be machined with five axis. So this allows our customers the opportunity to use a three axis, axis machine, a little more roughing capability if, the, if they want, uh, with the YBM 640V. Now we've got our YMC650 on the left side of the robot, which is a high speed 40,000 RPM HSK E32 sub-micron level machine that lets them take it to the next level with a full five axis Yazda built integrated uh, rotary table. Kevin, you're making me do this. I wasn't gonna. When you say sub-micron, I instantly start thinking about Marvel's Ant-Man. <laughs> when we start going to these sub-levels, right? Now, I know you, the audience out there loves to be the first to see something, right? The first. This is kind of the world premiere for the machine that's behind you as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really excited about this machine. This is our VI-50, so this is not available in the United States yet. I wish it was. I'd love to be out there giving this to our sales teams. But uh, for any of our customers out there who've used the VI-40 in production, whether it's mold and die customers, aerospace parts makers, um, electric vehicle, vehicle component manufacturers, this machine is going to be a, a VI-40 upsized to VI-50 levels. So uh, it's going to give our VI-40 customers the opportunity to get larger parts on the machine, but, but yet to maintain the same type of accuracy Yazda is known for with the VI-40 product line. Yeah, and Kevin, you and I have spoken in front of the VI-40 before, and we know the accuracy. In fact, we did a little pin gauge thing that showed right. when you spin it 80, uh, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, how it still stays in place, which is hard for most machines to do. The purpose of the increased side is it's kind of dedicated to specific industries, although anyone can use it. Sure. It's purposely done based on the size of some of these EV models, some of these aerospace parts, so some of what the world is creating right here, right now, right? Yeah, absolutely, and we're, you know, we're, we're finding that parts are only getting bigger and when those parts are getting larger the accuracies don't decline so um, you know we still have customers that are looking for very very tightly toleranced parts but just a little step up in size so that's what the VI-50 is going to bring them yeah it makes sense to me and another piece that was in a part of that whole conversation was the fact that with the five axis machine versus the three axis machine the overall length of the tooling can be reduced which adds to that rigidity and we can go deeper and faster and all that stuff that comes into what we kind of already know or most of the audience knows when it comes to that overall length and reduction of length so it would be I think it's important for us to also mention the machine in the back of the booth, even though we're not going to interrupt this amazing meeting that's going on right now, <laughs> except for just verbally, apparently. But by walking over there, uh, we're gonna, let's walk around a little bit. Our camera guy's actually pointed at the machine right now. Let's close out this whole conversation with the importance of automation. We know it's important. You and I have spoken about this machine previously. We know the importance, and I think the audience does as well, about pallet change. But let's bring this whole thing full circle with what we're looking at here and uh, an automation as a whole. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. This is our PX30i. We've talked about this machine quite a few times, but this is Yazda's in automation solution where everything is integrated. So everything's Yazda built, Yazda integrated, 33 pallets in this machine, 323 position tool changer. You can actually upgrade that to a 513 position tool changer if 323 is not enough. 
Um, but in addition to the pallets and the tools, Yazda also integrates coolant through the spindle, a mist collector, a coolant chiller so that that coolant through the spindle is not heating up and, and causing temperature uh, changes on the work pieces. Pretty much everything you're going to need to be successful with unattended machining is included in this machine right out of the gate, standard, including Yazda's micron level accuracy. Wow, 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 wow. So thermal expansion was important to me back when I worked in the air turbine days because how easily can that change uh, when it comes to the temperature control, when it comes to that, right? But also, if I'm okay to talk about this on camera, and I'd like to, Automation is a buzzword, and it's an important thing that we all get involved in because that's how we compete on a global level, is being able to run a third shift with nobody there, maybe a second shift with nobody there, all of these things. So people are jumping in, but sometimes they're jumping in without a full education because they know they need it, and then they come, say, a Saturday and a Sunday go by, and they get there on a Monday, and 50% of the parts are scrapped. Now, sometimes yeah. that's because there wasn't coolant in the tank, and sometimes that's because there wasn't redundancy in the tooling, and sometimes it's because of the accuracy of the, accuracy of the machine. This is an all-inclusive machine that allows that customer to go, I can breathe on the weekend, I can enjoy my kids on the weekend, and I can come into successful parts on that Monday. It truly is. You know, automation and running unattended is, is truly a journey. It's not something you can just do and be successful with without some growing pains and, and without uh, a good stable structure to get you there. So what Yazda tries to do with this machine is we're trying to take the machine tool element at least of going unattended and automating out of, out of the equation. We're trying to make sure that the machine tool is rock solid, is producing accurate parts. In fact, is producing better than accurate parts because when you're running unattended, you don't have that expert machinist there to make, make tweaks and, and set up adjustments. The machine's got to be good, it's got to be right, and it's got to handle it by itself without, without labor in front of the machine. Very well said, Kevin, and it's always a pleasure to see you. Let's not jump across the world next time. Maybe we can see each other in another place. Perhaps that'll be Europe. Who knows? I always get to bump into Kevin in amazing places. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for expressing this, as you always do, in a very effective and efficient way. And thank you all for watching. We do appreciate you, and we hope that you're learning as much as I am when I get to talk with people like Kevin, Methods Machine Tools, and Yazda.